Hello, you are welcome again to NSC 327 Human Nutrition and this is our third class and we are continuing with the topic nutrients, chemical structures, sources and functions. Nutrients, chemical structures, we'll be checking it under the nutrients, the sources of nutrients and the functions of nutrients. Once again, pay rapt attention. As you listen to this audiovisual class material, ensure that you take your notes and also ensure that you pause when you need to pause so that you can remember on what you've uh, meditate on what you have listened to. And also, if you have questions, ensure that you write them down on the Google Classroom comment session. So let's continue with the class. Under this discussion, we will be seeing carbohydrates, protein, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water. So, let's take them one by one. Under nutrients, chemical structures, sources, and functions. Nutrients are essential, of course, on a daily basis for all the body functions that take place in our system, such as energy production, immune defense, and essentially tissue repair. As they wear and tear, there's a need to keep building them back. And the following categories of nutrients are essential for our health, like I've listed, I'll be taking it one by one. And so I expect that you take your textbook and then you read more about it. But I'll be giving you the very essential key points that you'll be needing, and I'll talk more about it. For every nutrient, for every compound, there is a structure. And so it's important that you understand the structure of carbohydrates because it is composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And indeed, carbohydrate is the simplest form. Uh, I mean, sorry, um, glucose is the simplest form of carbohydrate. And of course, you must be hearing about glucose. It is the running fuel that comes to the cells of the system and utilized to provide ATPs that are further utilized for energy production. And so that brings to mind the glycolytic pathway where glucose is formed either by glycolysis or gluconeogenesis and it is important that you understand this pathway as well so take your textbook and look at that furthermore the sources of carbohydrates include foods like bread uh, local rice pasta and uh, fruits what is the function of carbohydrates they provide energy indeed energy important for brain function because your brain need to function excellently well for muscle function and metabolic processes and metabolic processes number two is protein protein in terms of structure proteins are made up of amino acids and they have their peptide bonds that are linked together now amino acid must be obtained through the diet not from drugs it must be obtained through the natural means which is diet now the sources for protein include your meat your fish the eggs that you eat dairy products such like cow milk legumes nuts that is um, ground nuts and so on and seeds now what are the function of carbohydrate it builds and repair tissues enzyme and hormone production like your testosterone and so on gonadotropic hormones and then it also support the immune function very important and so carbohydrate is key to the system i mean proteins are key to the system and so you must ensure that um, you understand this structure understand the sources and you should know the function in some cases it will overlap 
but nevertheless the functions for each of these nutrients are clearly unique very very unique we look at fats in terms of structure is composed of triglycerides and then the content of triglycerides are simply the glycerol and the fatty acids and you know fats are either saturated or unsaturated and you have cases of trans fats which you find in most cases of pot belly and you also have to understand in case of saturated the saturated is uh, a specific type of fat that you have the unsaturated so it is important that you read about them because the one is healthy and the other one is not a healthy kind of fat now what are the sources you have oils you have butter you have avocados nuts and fatty fish these are sources rich sources of fat is fat important to the body yes because it provides energy it supports the cell structure that is the cell membrane you have the mitochondria and also it plays a very big role in the integrity of the cell wall it also protects the organs and help absorb fat soluble vitamins and what vitamins are there in short formula adic vitamin a d vitamin e and k let's see the next nutrient which is vitamins this by structure is organic compounds the organic compounds that are very key and essential important for normal metabolism and so you can't talk about the metabolic pathway without mentioning vitamins because organic compounds play important roles in the body how about sources of vitamins they include fruits vegetables dairy and fortified foods you also have vitamins play important roles such like regulate body processes such as metabolism in conjunction with um, the um, fats and you also uh, see immune function just uh, as you saw in the last discussion when we talked about carbohydrates and proteins and we mentioned it there that proteins help in building repair tissues and also helps in hormone production and supports immune function so you could have an mcq question you should be able to state the difference so that you can pass that question and we also see that it's very very useful in terms of skin health and so that's why most of the cream that you rub if you look at it you will see these vitamins there a major one is your vitamin e uh, your vitamin k and vitamin d and you know the very natural source is uh, from the sun as well as it comes in contact with your skin then you have uh, vitamin d you know being processed in your system so that's that's about um, nutrients for fats and vitamins so let's move on to minerals and water for minerals the structure in organic elements major minerals include calcium potassium sodium magnesium while trace health minerals include iron zinc iodine and selenium now very important you need to understand why we refer to calcium potassium sodium magnesium as major minerals now the body needs electrolytes and these electrolytes include your sodium your potassium your chloride and then you understand that calcium is also part of it your bicarbonate is part of it now sodium your potassium play a very important role in your atp pump it also play an important role when it comes to um, osmosis especially in 
permeation and uh, the electrolyte is needed in the body to be able to manage stress for example when somebody has diarrhea and is stooling and is losing electrolytes if it is not properly managed it could lead to death in quick you know time and so it's important that the electrolyte in the system as major minerals are kept intact in circulation we also have the trace minerals like i've told you they are important but they are in traces in the system in fact it's not expected to be on a very high high concentration in the system and they include your iodine when it is absent it will lead to what is called beriberi or what people call in the local palace belu belu the protrusion of a benign growth by the respiratory that by the throat just under the tonsillitis uh, position there and so you see the growth come out and become make it difficult for swallowing drinking and taking enough food and so selenium is also important you remember the place of zinc when somebody has diarrhea one of the therapies that you give zinc uh, also in terms of using the tablet so that it will uh, play the important role in reducing uh, the impact of the diarrhea and so on so iron is also very important to remember in the case of blood formation uh, so these minerals but the major then the trace ones are key you can read up about them in your textbook and learn more it's important now for sources of minerals they are found in variety of foods like salts diary meat and vegetables and they help with bone health they help with fluid balance like i told you nerve signaling and enzyme reactions let's see water water you've heard the word water hath no enemy it has no boundary water is universal it is the number one liquid that is used as a solvent for a lot of things in terms of structure is a simple molecule made up of hydrogen and oxygen and its sources include water fruits vegetables and beverages water fruits vegetables and beverages you can never cook a food without water and so if water is important then you talk about clean water because clean water has the role it plays in the body good now let's see the function it regulates body temperature it aids digestion and it transports nutrients and removes waste from the body when there's less amount of water in the body that will result to a great deal of dehydration dehydration is very very bad you wouldn't want to experience that because people die out of dehydration and so water regulates body temperature and you'll find out that your body organs like the kidney will need water so that it can process the waste as well as the liver as well and so to aid digestion and transport your nutrients we have just come to the end of lecture three please under this lecture there are questions to ask write them on the google classroom i will attend to every one of them and when i come to class i would love to take all those questions and dig in deep and so that we have more understanding so these are the references i expect you to have a textbook if you have the gopta Rajuke nutrition in public health principles policies and practice you can get that you can also get it online uh, this is a pdf drive you can download it also there's a topic nutrition and disease management for veterinary technicians and nurses you can get that too it's very key and then you have your normal textbooks as well for public health it talks again about nutrition probably not in detail but it put together different textbooks will help you so i'll see you in the next class which will be lecture note four thank you and make sure you take notes, pause when you need to pause, listen when you need to listen, and keep doing well. 
I'll see you in the next class. Once again, my name is Dr. Isabu Henry. Bye for now.